feeding hay to the calves and it's not because uh, they ran out of grass it's because uh, the new grain we're feeding which if you saw the last video you saw the shipment come in um, the new grain we're feeding is a high percentage corn and we were recommended to start feeding some hay with it so we don't have to worry about getting fatty liver disease and all that stuff so um, they still do have some grass but that's some pretty good stuff the hay is pretty good stuff and so uh, they spend most of the time eating on the bale, but I'm going through a bale once every three days, so these are $35 bales, so that kind of cuts into your uh, profit, but uh, kind of something I just had to start doing, not really what I planned on doing, but anyway, that's what happens when you start feeding a little cheaper grain, and anyway, so now all I have to do is unstack some more hay, so oh, I can feed a couple more groups and that way we can start feeding with the truck. Well, I came out to check some of the bread heifers and uh, as some of you know, I kept the um, Holstein nurse cow, I kept her in with the bread heifers. We thought she was gonna calve probably, well, we thought she was supposed to calve in late August, early September and she didn't. So we were hoping she'd still gotten bread and would still calve this fall. And uh, I noticed today when I went out to check, she wasn't with the herd and she actually had a calf. I'm going to show it to you here. Um, it is almost exactly, I mean, coloring, I mean, size. Everything is almost exactly like 
the one she had last year. And so this calf is a bull and he's out of a, obviously a Holstein cow and a Hereford bull. And here you guys go. He's a monster. I think he was born late last, late last night. And anyway, she's a pretty good mama. Not too worried about her taking care of him at all. And as you guys know, she's a nurse cow. So she, since she's a dairy cow, she can definitely support multiple calves with that big of an udder. Even though she only has three good quarters, um, you now we can at least have two calves on her at all time. And last year she raised six for us, so that's what we're going to try to do again this year. And this time we're actually going to preg check her and make sure she's bred this time and not bred late. So, um, as you guys know, we don't AI on this farm. Everything is naturally bred. We don't use any hormones or anything like that. It's just cows get bred when they get bred. And she just happened to get bred late. So, um, he's clearly already found the udder. He knows how to drink. So, um, I'm going to call the guy that I got those Simmental calves from this last fall and see if he's got any. I know the guy that I got the solid black calves from, he doesn't have any right now. He'll have some more January, but we need one as soon as possible. So I'm going to call that guy and hopefully he's got one or two available. This is one of the downsides of when they calve in the woods. Baby calf has to learn how to walk over a bunch of sticks and logs or walk through a briar patch right there. Come on, buddy. Yep, there you go. Okay, so this is the following day and we picked up this guy right here. Um, he's the one that kind of matches the rest of the calves the most. And <clears throat> once again, these are the half fleck fee slash simmental and then out of a dairy cow and anyway we think you'll fit pretty well I got her home and her calf is down there she left him on the way in but um, we're gonna try to stick him in here with her and see if he will suck he hasn't drank this morning so we're hoping that will kind of uh, entice him to suck on her a little bit more than he would if he was full so um, I gave her a little bit of grain we'll see if this works Well, he didn't really try to suck. I guess I'm gonna put her in the alley there and see if this works. Okay, so he has started sucking, and she hasn't really kicked him too bad. At least he knows where he's going. So, you can see the size difference here, even though he's two days old and he is like five. That guy's a whopper, he's huge, probably weighs 90 some pounds. So anyway, obviously this went a little better because I know he's used to drinking cow's milk and he hasn't been off the cow that long, so um, but anyway, if you guys have seen this before, seen me do this before, I'm just going to do this for a couple of days and then I will keep them all pinned up together and hopefully within a couple of days she will accept him and 
she'll have to raise two calves for us. So now he's back on, and he he went for the back quarter this time. Now he's on nothing. But this cow, obviously, she's just come into milk in the last couple days, and so um, we got to milk her out, make sure. She's cleaned out and one calf wouldn't do that. So that's why we're putting more multiple on here because she's got more milk than she can handle. And I think all of them have had enough of this and I'm going to let her out. And see him following her. At least he knows where the milk came from so maybe he'll try to pester her enough to let him suck and uh, I'm gonna put her calf in there with him so yeah she doesn't like him right now but eventually hey he's coming to you come on back up still pestering her which is good anyway I'm gonna give her some hay I'm gonna put some straw down in here and give her some more grain and water and then and it's just a waiting game and then I'll come back this evening and put them in a pen oh I'll, I'll put them in the chute again if she hasn't let them start sucking yet like I said I will update you guys and hopefully within two or three days she will have accepted him and she'll raise two calves for calves for us so hasn't milked her dry but between two calves I think they'll do pretty well and we got another animal that wants some milk one of the little kittens found her way over here so I'm gonna get all get them all bedded up and anyway with that being said thank you for watching and I will see you all next time